it is ultimately important for you to, to look at your goals, truly what you want to do in your life, and then look at the people who you spend the most time with in your life and figure out if that lines up. All right, what's happening? What's happening, everybody? Good morning to you. It is Friday, February 7th, 2020, which means there's only 23 days left in the month of February for you guys. And again, that means there's already over 10% of 2020 is already gone. It's gone, guys. I remind you of that every morning because the most precious thing that we got in this life is time. And I think that many, many times uh, we are overlooking that and we're not paying attention to time, uh, not even close to enough as we should. And so when I think about that, you know, I think about uh, how quickly it can get away from us with regard to, you know, what we intend to do versus what we actually do. And so this morning's topic is going to be surrounding exactly that. It is how do you treat yourself? Uh, and we're going to get into uh, all that. We're going to get into how we treat ourselves, uh, what it means, the background, how silly it is sometimes, uh, the way that we approach our own lives versus the way that maybe we would give advice to others to do that. Um, you know, one of the things that I wrote down this morning is from a book that I've read uh, from Dr. Jordan Peterson. If you guys haven't read this book, uh, it is called The 12 Rules for Life. Highly recommended. Pick it up. Get it on audiobook, uh, whatever it is. It is an incredible book, and I think uh, all of you guys would enjoy reading it. But one of the chapters in that book is treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. And, uh, you know, I think that's a, that's a really interesting thing because when I look around me, I see plenty of people that are really good at helping others. Um, you know, I see a lot of people on this stream, Judd Burden and I just had a conversation about this exact topic, um, you know, this morning about helping others, but how we don't necessarily always put ourselves in that position to help ourselves first. Yesterday was Put the oxygen mask on yourself first. This morning is is treat yourself. How do you treat yourself? And treat yourself like someone you are responsible for helping. So uh, before we jump in here, I just want to say good morning. So good morning, Patricia, Zach, what's happening, man? Jason Calloway, Bob, my dude, came all the way to Milwaukee to hang out with me uh, a couple of weeks ago. Appreciate you, my dude. Judd, what's happening, man? Mike Rosgoni, snow day down here too, brother. Uh, appreciate you, man. Appreciate the kind words. And I uh, look forward to seeing you someday soon in Uniontown, man. Uh, that dude's from my hometown. It's a special place in my heart for Uniontown, Pennsylvania, for sure. And uh, Dayton, what's happening, brother? Good morning. Andrew, what's happening, man? Uh, thank you guys for jumping on and spending time with me this morning. Hopefully, you will get a lot out of this. If you don't mind clicking that share button for me so we can impact some more people, I think a lot of people need to hear this message uh, about helping yourself. So, you know, what I wrote down this morning is we choose to not take care of ourselves properly, um, mostly because I believe that we have, we believe that we have an immediate need for something different, whether that's making progress at work, taking care of our family, uh, maybe somebody else we feel needs us more than we need ourselves at that very moment. Uh, but that is all just perspective, right? That is all just an opinion on the world around us and, and us giving ourselves more to others before we take care of ourselves. And I'm, I'm giving this message this morning, by the way, uh, generally like normal to myself as much as I am to, to you guys. But, you know, we end up eating like shit. We don't take our vitamins. We don't drink enough water. We don't take time for ourselves. We don't pour into ourselves, whether that's reading a book, reading the Bible, whatever it is. And the question you have to ask yourself when you really start thinking about that is, why do we do that? You know, why do we wait till tomorrow to start working out? Why do we procrastinate some tasks that we have until tomorrow? 
And the reality is, is that we believe we always have tomorrow. We believe that tomorrow always exists for us. That there will always be time to do this another day. That we can always catch up. We can always start going to the gym uh, next week or next month. Or right now is just a busy time. And the reality is this, guys. And I want you to remember this. That whole idea of tomorrow will absolutely destroy your life over the long haul. Because the only thing that we are guaranteed is right now. Tomorrow is the, is, is the exact reason why I see people, myself included, uh, gain tw- 10, 20, 30, 50 pounds. And we wonder how it happens. And the reality is this. Tomorrow is the reason. Tomorrow is the reason why we don't achieve what we could. Uh, When I stopped looking at tomorrow professionally, when I started saying today is the day, I'm going to make a list. I'm going to create four critical tasks, and I'm not going to stop until I get them. And I'm going to balance that with my family life. I'm going to make sure that I have enough time to sit on the sit on the couch and talk to my kids, to have dinner with my family, to do all these things, to try to juggle it all. I'm going to do that today. I'm no longer going to wait until tomorrow. It's when I really started to make progress. It's when I said, I'm going to take action today. I'm going to go and find those things that are missing in my professional life, in my personal life. I'm going to make the choice to do that. When they arise, I'm going to do it right now. And when I started to make those choices, everything started to change for me. And so I know for myself that the only thing that I need to do to change the rest of my life, to change these little pieces that are missing, the little pieces that I want to be different, the only thing that I need to do is stop looking at tomorrow. Treat myself like someone I'm responsible for helping because there's not a chance That if I am signed on to help someone, if I'm signed on to coach someone to make their life better, that I would put them off until tomorrow. There's no chance. There's no chance that if a friend or a loved one called me and needed my help, that I would tell them I would do it tomorrow. But the reality is we do that for ourselves to ourselves every single day. We look in the mirror and we say, Man, I'm going to get it tomorrow. I'm going to be better tomorrow. I'm going to eat better tomorrow. I'm going to keep my promise tomorrow. And the reality is, you have to understand what tomorrow will do to you. Tomorrow is not promise, guys. Tomorrow is in the future. You only get the opportunity, guys, to live in the present. And if you don't live in the present to the fullest of your abilities you are really stealing from your creator because you are being less than you were intended to be. You are being less of a person. You are being less of a friend. You are being less of a father, less of a husband to everybody around you if you don't decide to change today, to just change everything that you want to change, guys. look, Go look yourself in the mirror after you're done watching this and say to yourself, There is no more tomorrow. I'm not going to make any more promises that include the word tomorrow. It's going to be right now. I'm going to make a decision. I'm going to commit. You can commit today and start next week. You can commit today, but you understand the promises that you make yourself today, they absolutely have to start today. Because tomorrow, guys, will steal everything away from you. That idea that tomorrow is a fine time to do anything is is not, it's just not true. Tomorrow is a bad time to do a lot of things. Now, I understand in some cases, this is not possible, right? To start everything today. But I want you guys to start thinking in that capacity of what have you been telling yourself for years that you're going to do tomorrow? And not doing it. And, you know, if there's anything that I have figured out over the past year. So 75 hard, Trisha just mentioned it in the comments. 
75 Hard is a program that literally changed the trajectory of my life earlier this year. I got done with 75 Hard. Life got back busy again. And, and you know, I got back in the same old lazy routines. Judd Burden just said 75 Hard Monday. I wasn't going to call him out on here because I wasn't sure if he was definitely going to do it or not. But we are going to start 75 Hard on Monday. There's a group of us. Uh, I was supposed to start this past Monday but given how run down I was, and, and I know what it takes to complete that program, um, I, I didn't think it was good for my health, for my situation, uh, to start something that's so taxing when I wasn't in the right uh, health. So, But Monday is the day. There is a group that has been created. Trisha created a group. Trisha, you can drop that group uh, in, the, in the comments so that everybody knows how to access it. If you've been struggling with your health, with commitments, with discipline, with any of these things that I'm talking about this morning, join us in that program. We're all going to start on Monday. We all have busy schedules. A bunch of us have children. Uh, I've got four of them. So start with us on Monday and, and let us help you create that discipline in your life. Let us help you uh, stay accountable Let's hold each other accountable. You help me, I will help you. Monday is the day that we start 75 hard. It is 75 days straight of keeping a commitment to yourself, of being and becoming the best version of yourself. And I promise you this, guys, when you look in that mirror on day 75, you will absolutely love the person that you see. Because you will have kept a lot of promises to yourself that you haven't kept in the past, that you haven't kept in the recent past, that you've let yourself down over a period of time. And what happens, guys, your self-image, your self-worth over a period of time, when you don't keep those promises to yourself, when you say, I'm not going to eat sweets anymore, but you continue to do it, you start not to like yourself quite as much, don't you? And when that happens, guys, over a period of time, you start to believe that you are not worthy of the things that you desire in this life. The things that are on that board right there behind me, that is my vision board. Those are the things that I aspire to have for myself, for my family, for my circle. And I promise you this, we're on our way, boy. We're not perfect, but we're on our way. We do a lot of things right. And as I have developed myself, as I've poured into, uh, I've poured into myself with books and audio books and podcasts and all of you guys have poured into me, I feel like I get closer and closer and closer to those things every single day. I get better at balancing everything every single day. I get better at believing in myself every single day. When I have those thoughts, because we all have them about, Man, am I really going to be able to do this? They just last a lot. They don't last nearly as long as they used to. They're just a lot shorter thoughts. And that's what you guys are all striving for. There is no destination on this journey of becoming who you want to become or uh, doing something different in your life, keeping these promises to yourself that I'm talking about. There's no destination. You don't arrive. Because as we as we level up, as we make progress, as we get better at all of these things, we don't feel like we've arrived anywhere. We feel like there's a better destination. I never imagined that I would be able to do some of the things that I accomplished in 2019. There was a time that I didn't imagine that we would be able to get 30 contractors to come to Anguilla and have a week together like we had that literally changed people's lives, changed my life. I know for a fact that it changed Judd's life as well. I never imagined that that was possible. But by putting one foot in front of the other, doing things today that I used to put off till tomorrow, it changed the trajectory of where I was going. And you can do the same exact thing, but it comes down to you have to make a commitment to do that today to make those changes today, to find those people who will support you today. Because tomorrow, guys, is not guaranteed. I watched an interview the other day with Ed Milet and my friend Glenn Lundy. 
And Ed Milet talked about seeing Kobe Bryant at his daughter's vol- volleyball game and looking across the gym and seeing him holding his little baby. Um, I, I believe that the baby is, you know, less than a year old. And he had his arm around his 13-year-old and he's rubbing his 13-year-old's back and he's holding his little baby. And he and Ed Milet said this, Imagine if somebody walked up to Kobe and whispered in his ear, you only have seven days left. And the next day, somebody walked up to him and said, you only have six days left. How would you behave, guys? How would you behave? Would you steal a promise from yourself today if you knew that was the case? It can happen to any of us. And our responsibility on this earth is to become the best version of ourselves. So when it's our time to go, we can look back and say, man, I'm proud of you, bro. I'm proud of what, of the work that you put in. I'm proud of you, girl. I'm proud of you for making the changes that you were supposed to make. That's how you have to look at your life. If you sell yourself short today, you don't get it back, guys. There is no There's no reliving today. You get one February 7th. And if you don't make February 7th, 2020, the day that you start keeping your promises to yourself, if you don't make it the very best day that you can for your kids, for your husband, for your wife, for everything, you aren't stealing from anybody but those you love the most and yourself. And so I would encourage you as you go into this Friday, Friday's the day that everybody kind of blows off, at least uh, those in the, in the corporate world. When I used to work, man, everybody loved Fridays. It was like, man, I can't wait to get to happy hour. Man, I can't wait to get to dinner uh, this evening with my wife. It was like they came into work thinking about, you know, whatever was going to happen after work. And they never thought about the progress that they could be making in their life all day on Friday. And so I would tell you this, guys, keep the promises to yourself starting today. Whatever it is that you want to start working on, make the decision and take action on it. Start moving in that direction today. Don't wait for tomorrow because you never know. You never know if tomorrow, uh, if any of us, uh, you know, come down with some kind of illness, uh, somebody in our family, you know, has something happen to them that takes us away. So every single day, guys, you have to you got to get every ounce of orange juice out of that orange because you just never know. And the progress that you are able to make in your life comes from stringing together a bunch of days that at the end of it, if you have to circle a W or an L, you're circling way more W's than L's. And that's it. So I encourage you today to look at your day, figure out what you want to accomplish, and go get it. Don't wait until tomorrow. Don't procrastinate until Monday. Don't wait until next week, next month to make those changes. Decide what you're going to do today and hold yourself accountable. Trisha will drop, uh, or I will drop if she hasn't yet. Uh, I think she did already. 75 hard, better together. Um, It is absolutely imperative, guys, that you take responsibility for yourself, that you start treating yourself like you would treat others and keeping those promises to yourself that can give you a much better life. Uh, One of the things that Dr. Peterson wrote in his book, he said it's easy to assume by people's actions that they love their dogs, cats, birds, and ferrets more than they love themselves. Think about that. Think about how you treat others and then how you treat yourself. And go get it today, guys. Make the very best of February 7th, 2020. You only get one. I hope you guys have an awesome day. I hope this was helpful. Please share it out if you haven't. If you found this helpful, tag somebody, share it out, whatever it is. We need as many people in the world to hear these messages as possible because today could be the day that this message changes somebody else's life, somebody that's been procrastinating, somebody that's maybe making themselves unhealthy by not keeping the promises to themselves. So um, do that. Do that for me. Do that for your friends. Do that for your family. 
um, and do it for yourself. You'll be surrounded by better people if you can get them to listen to messages like this uh, and become part of a circle that really, really uh, is willing to do anything to help each other. So I appreciate you guys. Thanks again for tuning in. And uh, I will see you again here Monday, same place, same time. Love you guys.